that's focused and hopefully you can hear me. Um, but today I'm going to make a video all about how I cover all my blemishes, which clearly I have a lot right now. So I thought it would be a good time to film this video because, wow, let me just tell you, I have had like the most stressful week. We, I go to school in Savannah, Georgia, and we had to evacuate because of Hurricane Matthew and it was in the middle of midterms and we have all this work due, but it's due online and I've just, and I had to evacuate and my phone broke while I was on my, while I was driving over to my grandparents, so I had no map, no way to call anyone or anything, so I got lost and it's just been very stressful. So I'm breaking out and I think we all know the food choices in college aren't exactly the healthiest as well, so I'm sure that hasn't been good on my skin, but... All these factors have made me break out. So I thought it would be a good time to film a video on how I cover my blemishes. And also, I'm sure you noticed, but I'm doing that now. My hair's getting pretty long too. Yep, but um, it's coming up a little bit redder than it really is, but yeah. The only reason I did it is because I didn't want to have to, I'm in the middle of growing out my hair. I've always had shorter mid-length hair, like it's always been in this region. And, um, yeah, I've been in the process of growing it out for, like, since, like, the beginning-ish of my senior year of high school, so. But I didn't want to be bleaching it all the time while I was growing it out because it's really bad for your hair. And I want to grow long, healthy hair, not, like, dead, bleached hair. So, that's why I dyed it. My hair is naturally brunette now. It used to be a little bit blonder when I was a little kid, but as I've gotten older... It's gotten darker, so naturally I'm a brunette. Surprise. Okay, so here's my face. Whatever. Here's my face up close. Clearly, I am breaking out. So you couldn't see it when I was further away. There it is now. It's not a cute look, but we're gonna fix it. So first thing I like to do is take my Clinique gel. And a new little trick that I've been learning that's really helped me dry out my pimples is adding a drop of tea tree oil. This is just a like, drugstore brand, but um, yeah, just add a drop of that into my lotion and it makes a really nice tingly feeling and it just helps dry out those any existing blemishes. And before I go to bed at night, usually my pimples, like, these are mostly, they're not actually pimples, they're like scars slash scab, I don't know, what it, it's gross, but, um, I like to put Neosporin on before I go to bed at night because that really helps them not scar your skin and helps them to heal faster and it makes them not, your skin not as rough, so. That's what I like to do to help improve the texture. My face turns red really easily, like. Once I put on my lotion. Okay. So that's that. Now, um, as far as liquid concealers go, my favorite is the um, Born This Way from Too Faced. I used to like the Naked Skin, but I actually like this one a lot better just because it smells like coconuts and it's got coconut water. And I like coconuts. It smells good. That's really the only difference I have found. Um, but this product I swear by, I've been using it ever since I even got a pimple. It's been my favorite concealer of all time, pretty much ever, and it's the Boing Concealer from Benefit. This stuff is no joke, like, I swear by it. I can cover any pimple, anytime, it's great. So I just use that to spot conceal. So. And to blend everything in, I just use my beauty blender. It's really dirty. Sorry about that. But, um, yeah. I've been trying not to wear foundation lately just because I'm breaking out and I'm trying to give my skin a break. But, oh well. Um, plus, I just, I prefer a more natural look. I really don't ever wear foundation. I wear BB cream, but, yeah. So, I'm just going to go in under my eyes with this, around my nose, on my chin. around my mouth. I know these are hormonal breakouts 
or like stress breakouts because if you look it up online, <laughs> find the answers to anything online nowadays. I don't know if it's actually true. But um, apparently when you break out like around the corners of your mouth, those are like hormonal and like stress pimples. So I used to have pretty bad acne um, when I was like a freshman, sophomore. And I don't know if history repeat is repeating itself because now I'm a freshman in college, but let's hope not because I really wouldn't like that. I have had clear skin for quite a while, so I'd be sad if it came back. But, um, yeah, so I'm just going around and pretty much putting this over any red areas. It's a really light coverage concealer, so I do like that. Um, yeah. I'm just going to take my beauty blender, my hair is in the way, and start to blend that in. Sorry if I keep blocking the whatever you call it. Lens. <laughs> could not get that word to come out of my mouth. Mm -hmm. And anything that's left, I just cover my eyelids because those are pretty veiny and it just makes a nice eyeshadow base. Okay, so that's enough of that. Now I'm going to take my Sigma something or other brush, it doesn't really matter. Just a little flat concealer brush in my Boing Concealer. And I'm just going to go in and start spot concealing my face. So I just dip it in there, get quite a bit of product on it. Okay. And then, I don't know, hopefully you can see this, just tap over any red areas. Do you see how they just like kind of disappear? It's pretty great. It's like they were never there. And I just kind of use this brush to blend the product in. This also matches my skin really well. When you're concealing your blemishes, you want to make sure that you get a concealer that is your skin tone, you know? like. I wouldn't use a concealer that I use to brighten my under eyes to cover up pimples because that would be whiter than the rest of my skin and that would end up just drawing attention to that blemish. So you really want to make sure that it matches your skin tone. And I also really just like to use cream concealers just because they have a heavier coverage and they just look more natural I've found. Like throughout the day they don't really oxidize or turn a weird color. So I also like those little, you know stick Maybelline concealers. Those work really well for covering. That's what I used before Boing. When I was a broke little middle school. And I stole it from my mom. But yeah, that's what I used then. So I'm just going to continue spot concealing. And I actually learned when I was a freshman and sophomore in high school and I was breaking out and having all of that really bad inflamed, horrible acne. Um, I just caked on foundation after foundation and just like, ugh, caked that stuff on. And then I started watching one of my favorite YouTube channels, um, Pixie Woo. You guys should check them out. I love them so much. But um, they did a makeup tutorial for acne and sh she did something and it was just like such an enlightening moment for me. She um, like did really light coverage all over the face and then just went in and took a really heavy duty concealer product and went and just touched up the areas that needed to be touched up which left the rest of the skin looking really natural and really pretty and I was like duh why have I not been doing that this whole time YouTube is a wonderful place may I just say now I'm just doing the other side I'm not going to cover my under eye circles with the, whatever you call this, the Born This Way, because it's a really light coverage and it doesn't really work. So I'm actually going to use a heavier coverage one and do my Born Concealer under the eyes as well because I have not been getting no sleep and I have under eye circles for days. Luckily though, I really don't have too bad of an issue with 
blackheads or anything like that on my nose. That is something I have had not have, I can't talk right now. That's something I haven't really ever had a problem with, so luckily, but I have always, I always had at least one pimple and I don't, I thought that would go away when I got older, like I'm about to be 19, but no, no way. So I've just learned to go, learned to get really good with my makeup. Yep, that's really all you can do. So I like to take my fingers to blend this in as well, just because the warmth of your fingers really helps blend the product into your skin. And yes, this is a little bit more time consuming than just plopping on a bunch of foundation, but it ends up just looking so much more natural, and I really like the effect that it gives, so I think it's worth it to wake up 10 minutes earlier than you normally would to have natural looking pretty skin. So is what I've got so far. This one I'm having a hard time covering up just because he's really big and red and inflamed. So he's just gonna have to peek through. But for the most part, I'm thinking that looks pretty good. You can see from far away. No more redness. Looks pretty good. So now, I'm just going to go in with my finger, kind of rub them together just to warm them up a little bit, take a little bit of cream, concealer, and pop it under my eyes, my under eye circles. This concealer is great because it's got a small bit of a peachy undertone, which really helps counteract that redness, or not redness, purpleness under my eyes and be sure to take it into the inner corner because this is where we tend to get the most darkness which a lot of people think it's right under here but it's not and don't rub that's like the worst thing you can do to your eye it will give you wrinkles just don't do it I also like to take a little bit in between my eyebrows just because I got a little bit of redness in there too but let's see if you can tell a difference. Brown eyes. That's what I do to cover all the imperfections on my skin. And last but not least, I'm just gonna take a translucent powder. Hopefully this is staying in focus. I'm just using the Neutrogena Shine Control and a little Real Technique brush. I'm gonna set under my eye. And over top of them, where I put that Born This Way concealer, going on my nose. If I'm not breaking out, I usually just set my T zone, but since I used a cream concealer, I need to set that so I don't rub it off throughout the day, so I'm just gonna go ahead and do that. And like I said, with that bigger blemish, something you can do is set it with powder and then go over it again, kind of like a layering process and that'll really get some good coverage on those bigger pimples, but I think it looks pretty good. I don't, I'm looking in my viewfinder, I don't really see it, so I think it'll be fine. Okay, so my whole face is set with powder, and then I just go on to do the rest of my makeup routine. So if you wanna look closely, you can still kind of see a little bit of imperfections, but it's quite an improvement to what it was before. So, that's how I cover my pimples and my under eyes. Hope you guys found this tutorial helpful, and I just really thought it would be a good time to do it because not all of us are perfect. I know I go on YouTube all the time, and it's so sad because I see all these people with such pretty skin, and they're just so perfect all the time, and that's just unrealistic because we have flaws. I, I have plenty of flaws. My skin is not perfect. Although it may look like it in Instagram, but what can you do? So, I just thought it would be a good idea to make this video just so I can relate to you guys and so you know that I'm not perfect. Nobody is. So, I hope you guys have a good week, life, whatever.
and thanks for watching this video. I hope you guys found it helpful. If you did, go ahead and give it a thumbs up and subscribe to my channel. Thanks.